Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ryan with Anything RC. My name is Jesse. I'm a team driver for Anything RC. We're about to unbox the new Axial Yeti Junior. Let's check it out. I've been waiting a while for this thing. First thing comes out the box. Out of the box. STX2. STX2. Yeah. It actually doesn't look bad for a stock radio. I've seen a lot worse. The thing that I do like about this radio is you can trim your throttle and your steering to give yourself more steering throw or less steering throw and more throttle or less throttle and also they have a 50% range, a 75% and then a 100%. So if you want to give it to a kid to play with it, you can just drop it down to 50% and then not worry so much about them breaking it. Great for kids and big kids like us. Comes with a little charger, USB, charge on the go. That's pretty cool. Might be able to charge it on one of those charging packs. Yeah. There it is. There it is. So you get an owner's manual with it. Also, they give you the four batteries that you need for the controller. Get it running. Also comes with a couple extra axles in there. A couple extra dog bones, that's nice. Look at that. All right, out of the box it feels pretty solid. Suspension feels nice. Nice oil-filled shocks on it. Yeah, creepy tires. Aesthetically, looks pretty cool. That interior is rad too. Can't wait. Definitely gonna be able to change out the helmets on there. The detail, sweet. <laughs> it is. Licensed by Can Am. Let's pop the clips off. It comes off of the front and then it just folds back. Hinges back. Yeah. That's a nice system. I really like the way that they've been doing that with the electric vehicles. It makes everything very accessible. Oh, yeah. So we're inside. Looks like the battery's included as well. A little brushed motor. Well, 1300. Pretty cool. Man, battery's included all the way around. Ready to run. A little 37 turn motor, 380 size. Looks like it's an ESC receiver combo. Is that a brushed ESC only or does it do brushless as well? We're, it's probably just brush. We're gonna have to upgrade. Yeah. But yeah, nice A arms. Solid rear axle. I don't like red, but it's got a really cool looking red to it. It does, it's got a nice tint. Removable diff cover on the back. Just got done running the Can Am, and uh, so far we really like it. I think that I haven't seen a better vehicle for the price point 
since I've started doing this. So. Yeah. It's got a 37 turn motor in it. It's got a 1300 pack nickel pack. And we were getting 20 to 30 minute run times on it. It's pretty much indestructible from what I can tell. Stock, as long as you leave it <laughs> stock and don't put a brushless motor in it, I don't think you could really break it. Yeah. We didn't break anything and we were jumping it like crazy, crashing it, flipping it. <clears throat> it just, it held up. It's a real good vehicle. Yeah, definitely take a beating. Right, these come at you guys at $150, $149.99. And uh, in my opinion, I think they're well worth the money. Um, we did do one thing to it when I felt the shocks. The shocks had a little bit of air inside of them. So I took the caps off and added a little bit of oil and put the caps back on. And I uh, got rid of that air feel in it. And besides that, the thing ran great. We didn't change anything on it. No, great out of the box. So, yeah. Um, Definitely impressed with it. Yeah, and at $150, I really haven't seen a better RC car on the market for it right now. The first two of these we ordered, they already sold the first day we got them, so we have more on order. We'll keep them in stock after that as well. Uh, everybody seems to like them. I think they're a good product. Please drop a like and subscribe.